So I thought this might be helpful for some people. Ignore the mess. I <laughs> had a situation here. So I haven't used my Keurig in, since before I moved here. And I've been here a year. Um, and all I've done is wipe it down so that it wasn't dirty. Um, you know, and I kept water in it. But I would keep changing the water. This is not dirt that doesn't come off. I just scrub the heck out of this. I don't know what that is. But anyway, does your Keurig light up and then even flash the buttons blink, but it won't brew. No water will come out or it won't make a lot no matter what size you pick. Here's a couple of things that I've learned. A couple of fixes. One is you're going to want to get a flashlight. I don't know if I can turn the light on on this while recording. Okay. Inside here, you're going to notice there's a needle down there. There's one in the top that punctures. Let me. This thing right here punctures the K-cup. Now, one thing I learned is that get, that can get clogged and get really dirty in there. And what people are doing, and it actually, the hole goes all the way through. Let me see. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. My stick can go through it. I just don't want to get wood in there, so I'm trying not to do it. What people are doing is they're using, oh, look at all that in there. That needs to get cleaned. They're using um, a paper clip. And what I did is I used this um, skewer for marshmallows. And when I stuck it through, it pushed out a clump of coffee grounds. Um, now, my Keurig normally, there's another thing. That's not the only thing. So that's why I'm making this video. Because there's already a video on cleaning out that needle um but it could be a couple of things but anyway normally when i make would make a coffee with my carry here's what happens okay you turn it on it says heating oops i almost pushed the power button off it says heating and then what do you do it's not working well here's what i the first thing that you want to not put your cup in until after it's ready i've had my k cup in and had it closed and like come on the button's not working it's not doing anything why that's why you want to wait until it's ready until you put the water and it's heated up then you want to put your cup in and then put oh let me put my cup there hold on after you after it's heated up and it's ready then you let that puncture the k cup and the lights will blink to work. That was one mistake I kept kept making numerous times is I would put my K-cup in, close it, and then turn the power button on. Or, you know, you have to wait until it's ready before you close this. But if you, if you already closed it, just pick it up and close it again. Okay? Then they will blink so you can select... Sorry, I had to go step aside for a second. I had forgot to put my cream in, and I hate adding the cream after the coffee's in. All right, I don't use liquid cream. I can't stand putting anything cold into my hot cup of coffee, and I just really love the rich, creamy taste of the Coffee Mate powder creamer. So you want to, again, you want to make sure that you don't have your K-cup in and close the thing until it is ready. The lights are not going to blink until after it's ready and then you puncture it so even if you've already punctured it it's not going to blink so that you can and that's another thing if you don't know how to use a carrying you have to make sure that the lights are blinking they're not going to do anything if they're just solid blue you're not going to be able to push any buttons and have it do anything so lift it up and close it and that will be a fix for you if that's what you did wrong if um and then select the size you want now we know that it's loud that was the other thing I wanted to say you can hear that thing before it starts brewing so what was happening for me it wasn't that I forgot to do the to wait to close it I got that remembered now okay but I was pushing the button and it wasn't making 
it would make a quick little like click sound, but not that before it starts brewing, and it wouldn't brew at all. So I kept lifting it up, closing it, lifting it up, closing it, you know, and pushing the button, lifting it up, closing it, pushing the button. Let me just stir my cream as it's brewing. So um, then I took my skewer and I pushed out the clump of coffee that was in the needle and it started brewing. But so you can try that. Um, I also took a toothbrush and oh, I buy these specifically for cleaning things that need something that small and can scrub. Um, so you wanna push out any clumps that might be clogging the needle and then take a brush and clean it, take it over to the sink, rinse it, clean the needle, rinse it, and it will, the bristles will go through that hole in the needle like my skewer did. The, the bristles will clean it. You gotta make sure of that, you know. And the other thing, at the bottom of this water tank is sort of a little like pump kind of with water. Hold on, let me show you. So here at the very bottom, you see this little black round thing? At the bottom part of it, I can't put it upside down because then, you know, but underneath here, can you see that? That gets gross. I had to brew it a, a, a little bit more to add more because medium wasn't enough, so I had to lift it up, pull it down, and then push the small um, just to get enough to fill my cup. Anyway, so that bottom nozzle thing, you want to, when we clean it, we usually clean the inside and the sides, but what about the bottom? So inside here, where that connects, you want to take the toothbrush and clean that and this part that i showed you over at the sink the bottom of it you want to put that upside down under the running faucet use a toothbrush and some dawn and just it gets kind of like that greasy feeling water mine hasn't turned black yet but it can do that and that will also stop your water flow from brewing that's it i think that was long enough so those are the three Troubleshooting fixes I have had to do with my carry um, is one, simply I just kept forgetting that I had to open and close it before the buttons would blink again, okay? The second thing is I had to clean out a clogged needle. And the third thing was to clean out that pump thing so that the water wasn't like greasy and nasty. Um, so it was clean and filter it through nicely. That's it. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.